And Gabriel, you can begin whenever you're ready. Thank you very much. Thank you for attending day one of the 25th Ward virtual hiring event. My name is Gabriel Perez. I am your Career Pathways Navigator at the Near West American Job Center located in Pilsen. Today, I'm pleased to introduce you to our very first partnership collaboration with our 25th Ward Alderman's Office, the Illinois Department of Employment Security, National ABLE, Illinois WorkNet, the Cook County Workforce Partnership, and the Chicago Citywide Literacy Coalition. Today, we expect presentations from our workforce sect, uh, sector centers in our American Job Center area and connect you with industry professionals. Thank you to the IT, TDL, and healthcare sector centers for presenting today. Again, thank you to IDES, National ABLE, Illinois WorkNet, the partnership CCLC for your collaboration efforts. Again, thank you to uh, the 25th Ward, Alderman, and staff for your work and partnership in making this happen for the community. It is now my pleasure to ask a representative of the Alderman's office to provide us with her welcoming remarks. Please welcome 25th Ward Director of Community Relations, Lucia Moya. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for the introduction, Gabriel, and thank you all for joining us today. Uh, this is a really important opportunity for us to be able to bring to our ward, to our residents, um, and just for anybody that's joining across the city of Chicago, uh, we really appreciate you all for being here. I stated my name is Lucia Moya. I'm Alderman Sicto Lopez of the 25th Ward, his Director of Community Relations. Um, our job is to really connect as many resources as possible between the city, between our organizations, um, and across the county with our residents. Uh, we understand it's really difficult to reach out um, in the time of pandemic um, where we're doing a lot of things virtual, uh, but I think it's really great that we're all able to come together um, from different areas and still be able to have an ultimate goal of getting the best information possible when it comes to employment opportunity. Um, so again, we wanna thank you all for being here and we hope to see you again on the 16th. Thank you. Thank you, Director Moya. Finally, before we start our workshop presentations, I would like to provide you with a quick resource. In the chat, I will provide you with the contact information and link to receive an opportunity to learn more about free computer, ESL, GED classes, even citizenship and career pathways training in your area. You can find an email address, telephone number, and direct link to apply online today. These services are free and available to you now. Thank you so much for attending today's 25th Ward virtual hiring event. Here's Daniel Mariscal with technical remarks to keep in mind during the rest of the event. Thank you so much for that, Gabriel. And again, real quick here, before we kick things off, there's a few things that I would just like to draw uh, folks attention to. You'll see on the slide here uh, that we do advise you to download the most recent version of Zoom client for meetings if you have not yet already. Again, you can do so at the link you'll see there, zoom.us slash download. That'll just make sure that you're able to utilize all of the breakout rooms features. Uh, that Zoom does have to offer principally the ability to be able to move freely from room to room. So what that means for folks that are new to that process is all of our sector centers will be presenting at the conclusion of those presentations. You will be able to meet with any of those sector centers. Um, you'll be able to obviously meet with the representatives who presented if you have any questions for them regarding the services they provide or the programs they have available, you'll have an opportunity to do so again at the end of all of our presentations. Another thing that I would like to draw your attention to is if you have not yet already registered for Thursday's event, you'll want to go ahead to be sure and do so prior to the event taking place. Um, again, just because you haven't, just because you've registered for the initial event doesn't mean you've registered for day two. So again, if you want to meet with our employer panel, ask questions of those folks, obviously, uh, hopefully land your next job or career. Be sure to register for that second session. Real quick here on screen, you'll see, again, uh, the registration page that we do have set up for the event here. I am gonna drop the link to this page in the chat uh, once we begin our official presentations here, but you'll see, I just wanna direct your attention to this kind of upper right-hand corner here. You'll see select a date if we click on that. You'll see sales have ended for today's session already, but uh, you can still register for Thursday session on the 16th. You'll see there, just go ahead and click register. It'll be very similar to the process that you followed for the initial registration. Again, that'll be sure that you have a slot available to be able to meet with our employers again on Thursday. So without further ado, 
we'll go ahead and put our PowerPoint back up on screen here, and we'll delve right into our first sector center presentation. And I do believe we have uh, Gabe with the IT sector center. Gabe, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Thank you. And just another quick audio check. Everyone can hear me just fine. Loud and clear, sir. Take it away as you see. Excellent. Uh, as not to be confused with uh, Mr. Gabriel Perez there, this is uh, Gabriel Murcia. Uh, please feel free to call me Gabe with the Information Technology Sector Center uh, powered by National Able Network. Uh, if you do have any questions for us, as mentioned, there will be a breakout session towards the end of all of the sector presentations. Uh, but right there on this very first screen is our email address. So if you have any follow-up questions for the IT Sector Center, please feel free to email us at itjobs at nationalable.org. Next slide, please. We are powered by the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership. Uh, they are our, our generous funder our, for our workforce events and for our WIOA program, the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. Uh, if you have any information about our funder or the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, feel free to email them, or pardon me, or feel free to look at their website at shycookworks.org. Uh, a couple of different social media handles there as well. Uh, you can look them up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Thank you. Next page. Just to give you an overview of National ABLE uh, as a whole, as an entity, uh, National Able Network is, is our employer. That's uh, who we work for as the IT Sector Center. Uh, so the IT Sector Center, as mentioned, is funded by the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership. Uh, and within that, uh, we have a couple of other different departments that I wanted to mention here uh, that are kind of intertwined within our ABLE business intermediaries. Uh, right there at the center is National Able Network, uh, which is kind of the hub um, of our services. Uh, up at the top, uh, we are we are funded in part by the WIOA program. Uh, that is the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, where uh, we do provide funding uh, to our participants, uh, dislocated workers, youth, uh, and uh, adult uh, dislocated or, or low-income individuals as well. Uh, so the funding that we do uh, provide and the services that we do offer are part of the WIOA program. Um, additionally, towards the left there, you'll see that we have the IT Career Lab. Uh, this is another leg of National ABLE Network. That's the training institution part of our network um, there. If you're absolutely uh, working right now with a WIOA coach or a career coach, or maybe you're looking to enter into the WIOA pro program, uh, there is what's called a training voucher uh, where you may uh, select a particular school in order to up your skills or get a certification that might help lead you to full-time employment. Uh, National ABLE and the IT Career Lab is just one of those training providers uh, that can offer uh, some assistance and training with regards to um, getting those IT skills. Uh, two main tracks within that Career Lab is our Cisco Academy, and the other track would be kind of a, like on the data science um, aspect of it. Um, so looking at particular data, uh, Tableau, to, for example, would be a good example of that. Um, you can also just visit our website uh, to learn more at nationalable.org. Uh, you can look up the IT Career Lab information there, and uh, on our calendar, you can actually sign up for an orientation session if that is something of interest to you. Uh, we do also have a Veterans Forward program uh, that is part of National ABLE Network. Uh, this would be particular funding that either could be from WIOA or from other funding streams, uh, specifically designed for our veterans who are seeking employment. And then lastly, on, on that right-hand slide there is the Information Technology Center, uh, which we'll dive into a little bit further here in the next slide. All right, so here are the uh, two representatives that work uh, under the IT Sector Center. Uh, we've got my colleague, Summer al Nuemi, who is also a part of this presentation today, and then myself, uh, both as account managers. Uh, our email address are listed on there uh, in the event that you want to email us directly. Uh, but for general inquiries, you can also, as I mentioned, email the itjobs at nationalable.org. Next slide, please. So what, in fact, does the IT Sector Center do? What, what does a sector mean? Uh, we kind of have a three-pronged approach to how we support uh, candidates and agencies and employers. Uh, we do what's called business engagement. 
which is engaging with employers within the Cook County area uh, to learn about what their staffing needs are, uh, what, what types of roles they're looking for, um, give them advice about what the minimum wage is or what they should be paying particular employees. Uh, we also have other programs that we offer employers such as paid work experience programs and on the job training programs, uh, all of which um, help the business uh, with their financing in terms of being able to uh, finance and fund uh, employees such as yourself uh, for training opportunities. Uh, we also do delegate agency support. Uh, as mentioned, we are a partner of the, of the partnership, the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, uh, and therefore they do have a number of delegate agencies scattered all throughout the Chicago Cook area. Uh, we support those agencies by communicating with their career coaches. Uh, they have a, a list of job seekers such as yourself uh, that may be a part of one of those agencies. Uh, and we receive referrals from those uh, departments or those agencies all the time uh, with regards to people looking for opportunities in IT. Uh, so at times the IT sector center will go out and do on-site support uh, to those particular uh, job centers and uh, meet with candidates directly that way, or we could accept them through a referral process where uh, they'll send us your resume and we'll provide you with some insight on any particular jobs that are, are current within our network. And then lastly, uh, we are the IT aficionado, meaning that we educate uh, not only just the agencies on IT, uh, but we also like to educate uh, the, the population, the, the public with um, what is trending in the world of IT. So oftentimes um, we give you points from uh, articles such as um, from the CompTIA network, or even uh, articles that we receive from DICE, uh, which are very, very handy um, in terms of being able to tell you what the trends are in the IT market, um, what, what the job prospects look like, uh, what, what's the current roles that are, are important right now, um, and what, what is like the 10-year the prognostication of uh, the IT world. Next slide, please. Uh, so diving a little bit further into this, business engagement, uh, consultant services, meaning that we're going to be that consultant for the employer. Uh, we're going to work with their HR department and with their recruiting department to uh, gauge what their workforce looks like, help them develop a talent pipeline, um, and also, as mentioned, provide them with some other services and programs such as paid work experience or on the job training uh, to uh, help them uh, with their workforce training. Uh, we also will develop job orders with them. So we will uh, work hand in hand with the HR team uh, to not only just look at the job orders that they have on their website, but also to know what, what some of the up and coming jobs that might be available uh, to job seekers. Um, so really trying to give our job seekers firsthand um, or, or the first crack at those job orders before they actually become public on, their, on the company's website. Workforce events, I mentioned that we do do on-site events with our delegate agencies, uh, but we also host a number of other workforce events such as uh, Workforce Wednesday, uh, which I will get into a little bit, a bit later in another slide. Uh, but we also do what's called uh, Techapalooza, uh, where we do an on-site uh, job fair, if you will, with all employers IT related. Um, over the past two years with the pandemic, we've done these more virtually than uh, on-site. Uh, but we are looking to, in 2022, take our Techapalooza event on the road uh, and visit a lot more American job centers um, so that we're out there in the public um, meeting you face-to-face. Uh, -face. Um, of course, as, as the pandemic uh, lifts or increases, we'll have to adjust that accordingly. Uh, and then new employer outreach. We always want to be sure that the IT sector center is um, uh, establishing new relationships uh, we may have particular roles that are up and coming that are not a part of our job order listing. Uh, so we want to be sure that we give a nice variety uh, to our job seekers in terms of what types of IT, IT jobs are available. Uh, and that can also come in the form of, of finding new employers that have new opportunities. Next slide, please. Delegate agency support, IT sector center case management. Uh, we. Here in this slide, uh, we, you know, as mentioned, we do collaborate with all of the Cook County partners uh, that we have. Um, it, is, it is more or less employer-driven, meaning that 
um, my role and Summer's role in terms of the sector is to be there to support the actual employer. Uh, and by doing that, that means meeting with the employer and identifying what their needs are. Um, case management in terms of uh, you as an individual, as a job seeker, is uh, something that's done on the WIOA side of the house if you're involved in that program. Um, if you do have a career coach or, or you're looking to get into the WIOA program, uh, you can you can look that up on the Illinois WorkNet uh, site and find out what is your nearest American Job Center. Uh, but in terms of case management, uh, we kind of leave that up to the career coaches to be able to coach you up, help you with your resume, uh, get you what we call employer ready, uh, so that when the time comes for you to meet with the IT sector center, uh, you've got a pristine resume, you maybe even done a few mock interviews, and, and you're on your way to, to getting your foot in the door with that, with that employer relationship that we have. Uh, so, you know, this is meant to be the IT sector is kind of more of an employer driven uh, case management system, um, but obviously, you know, you can't have one without the other. So while we help the employer, we're in thus helping you as a job seeker uh, with that next opportunity. Next slide, please. As far as educating, uh, I mentioned some of the ways that we do go out on site and educate uh, our workforce staff and job seekers. Uh, but something that is open to the public uh, that you may not be aware of is what we call our IT and 10. Uh, IT and 10 are short snippets, 10 minutes long, of any particular subject matters in the world of IT. Uh, they're, they're recorded YouTube videos, uh, so you always have the ability to go onto our National ABLE website uh, and look up, or even go on YouTube and just look up National ABLE uh, IT and 10, and you'll be able to see there uh, some of the past recordings that we've had. Um, they're very simplistic. Uh, they're, they're meant to help uh, give you the latest trends in IT, uh, but also if you're a career changer, it also helps you kind of know uh, some of the terminology or some of the things that you may be looking for in terms of certifications or education uh, to help you make that leap into the world of IT. Some of the things that you may have missed this past year uh, that we've recorded on is, oh, oops, sorry, lost my screen there for a moment. Um, entry level careers, uh, so careers in help desk, uh, careers in coding and app development, uh, what the data analysis world looks like. Uh, we also presented on the project management uh, program and the PMP exam, uh, talking about what the latest exam date is for that. And then we also did a presentation, just to name a few, on um, the world of 5G and how quickly um, the technology is changing and how fast everything evolves. Obviously, if you are just getting into IT or know about IT, uh, you know, if you if you spend three months um, or less outside of the world of IT, uh, you'll find that it has rapidly changed even in, in a three month time frame. So we try to be sure that we keep everybody up on the latest information that's out there. Next slide, please. I alluded to a Workforce Wednesday. Uh, Workforce Wednesday is also powered by National Able Network. Uh, we do have some IT employers that attend Workforce Wednesday, uh, but Workforce Wednesday is actually um, for any of our employer relationships that we have, uh, and that includes employers that we uh, have on the WIOA side of the house as well. Um, so you may not just find IT jobs, but you may find other jobs um, that have been referred to us either by our, our partner agencies or relationships that we have um, nurtured as well. Uh, so Workforce Wednesday, in a nutshell, is uh, about an hour-long presentation uh, where employers present on their job orders and talk to you about what their openings are and how to apply for those jobs. Um, that is open to the public. If you have that, uh, the code there, uh, you can register online at nationalable.org slash calendar. Uh, and our Workforce Wednesday events happen every first Wednesday of the month. Uh, so even though this, this particular PDF here slide is old, uh, we had our last event on December 1st. Uh, our next Workforce Wednesday event will happen next year on January 5th. Uh, so again, feel free to uh, use this slide as your reference or just visit our nationalable.org slash calendar website to learn more. Next slide, please. The Veterans Forward Program, as mentioned earlier, is another program that National ABLE does offer with uh, particular funding uh, for veterans. 
there is a number there. You can contact Wendy Harris at nationalable.org, uh, or you can call our call center at 312-994-8308 to learn more information about the programs that we offer to veterans. And the next slide will have a little bit more information as well. You can register online. Uh, there is an event that occurs every Wednesday uh, from 10 to 11 a.m. Uh, again, you can visit our website to learn more about the Veterans Forward Program. So job orders, uh, kind, of, kind of what you guys are, are here for to learn about is um, the jobs that we have available to our job seekers. Uh, you know, we have an abundance of IT employers. Um, job orders from A to Z vary anywhere from uh, business intelligent analysts. Um, and in this particular category, uh, this is something that has kind of boomed over the last, I'd say, two to three years, uh, where you know, business intelligence sometimes may not equate directly to IT. Because uh, sometimes when we think of IT, we think of maybe that next that next bullet there, which is like computer network architects. Uh, but I have seen an increase in a number of business uh, data mining analysts, uh, BAs or project managers um, who can lead a project but aren't necessarily very technical in their skills, meaning that they they can't hardwire a computer, uh, but they know how to bring all the right uh, subject matter experts together to be able to deliver a project or analyze a business. Um, so while it may not be necessarily uh, IT driven, as I mentioned, uh, we do have employers um, that are IT related uh, that have roles in business intelligence. Computer network architects kind of speaks for itself. Uh, information security analysts uh, that kind of dives into the world of cybersecurity. Um, IT project managers, as I mentioned, um, that, that can be IT specific, um, but I, we do have a few employers that actually have project manager roles that are not uh, technical in that project role. Uh, programming and software development, that still continues to be a, a trend in the IT world. Uh, system analysts and engineers. Uh, user support specialists is, is an increased um, job order that we've seen recently. Well, that, that user support specialist or what we might even call like a help desk or a level one help desk role, you know, that's been around for decades. Uh, however, with the pandemic uh, within the last two years, we've done, definitely seen a lot of turnover in this area. There's a lot of opportunity for somebody who's looking to get into IT as a career changer um, or just trying to break through into, that, into the world of IT. Uh, we have seen an increase in the number of job orders that we have for those types of roles. Uh, the good news is, is that, you know, we have those paid work experience programs or on the job training programs that help support learning um, to be a user support specialist. Uh, but now more than ever, we've seen a lot of companies uh, doing a lot more in-house training uh, and looking for candidates that actually have like customer service and communication skills, uh, maybe even some project skills. Um, so th those are some soft skills that we haven't seen in the past that are now part of this particular job description. And then, of course, uh, rounding it out with uh, web developers, uh, coding and app development would be a, a great example of that. Next slide, please. All right. I know that that could have been a, a quick run through of what the IT sector center does. Uh, those job orders that were on the previous slide is something that we can also discuss within our breakout sessions. Um, we can uh, introduce you to the employer relationships that we have uh, and talk to you a little bit more about your needs on a one-on-one -on -one basis once you come into that breakout room. And from there, we can kind of dive into it a little bit further and you can contact Summer or myself uh, for further information. Uh, so I want to I want to thank you for your time and I turn it back over to Gabriel. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mosia, for your presentation. Uh, Daniel, do you know the next uh, presenter? Absolutely. Next presenter will actually be the TDL Sector Center, and that will be Robert Lewis. Robert, are you on the line to present, sir? Yes, I am. Excellent. You can begin whenever you're ready, Robert. Thank you, Daniel. Hello, 25th Ward and all here that are present for uh, in our great city here of Chicago. Uh, again, my name is Robert Lewis and I am the business development manager for the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnerships. 
Transportation, Distribution, and Logistics Sector Center. It is an honor for myself uh, and our team to be the bridge for many of the great TDL employer opportunities that exist in this industry and to connect them with the wonderfully talented citizens here uh, in the city of Chicago. Uh, again, thank you, Daniel and team for providing this opportunity and also to the 25th Ward uh, for seeing how vital it is to share community employment opportunities with our citizens. <clears throat> now, just from my travels and, uh, and doing different uh, TDL presentations, I know that many of you might be saying, wow, TDL is great, but I'm not really interested in being a truck driver, right? Well, that's great because this is an industry that has so much more to offer than just pushing down the road in the big rig. Now, while that's certainly a thriving and ever growing opportunity for many to have, um, you know, if you want a CDL license or uh, if you want to, you know, just learn more about uh, the livable wages that you can earn um, a career with driving a truck, maybe even a six figure salary, if that's what you're interested in driving regionally. But there are many other ideas I want you to consider when you hear our industry's name. Um, and I also added um, some information to the chat if you'd like to check that out. TDL, say it with me, y'all, transportation, distribution, and logistics. So we are aware that the world has and is changing. And we all must adapt and overcome to participate and thrive in this new world. Some of you may also be saying, how can I have a thriving career or make six, uh, six figures a year? I only have a GED, I only have a diploma, or, or I have not finished my higher education yet. Um, well, my friends, this is an industry where upwards of 70% of the opportunities only require a high school diploma and the average salaries start at or around 40K per year. So no matter what your status is, we can get you started. Next slide, please. So here you'll see myself and our talent co uh, coordinator or training coordinator, Mrs. Stacy Delaney Roney. Um, and you, we can be reached at our email address uh, for the TDL team at TDLSC at ywcachicago.org. Again, that's TDLSC at ywcachicago.org. Or visit our web landing page located on the YWCA Metropolitan Chicago site, ywcachicago.org. Again, that's ywcachicago.org. I will be sharing this information in the chat as well. Now, when you get to the page, you just put your cursor on the Our Work link, which will reveal the Economic Empowerment Services link. Click there and scroll down until you see the link that says the TDL Sector Center. Once you click there, you will find all of our most current TDL employer job offerings, upcoming events, training opportunities that you can take full advantage of now. Next slide, please. So, uh, please note that we not only can help you find career making employment, but we are also your one stop one shop partner in many of uh, your daily vital needs. We all know that getting a job is very important, but when life happens the way that it does, many other needs may be in the way of you starting that bright new and thriving career that we just mentioned. So here at the YWCA Metro Chicago, we have life-changing resources to help navigate life's challenges, such as wellness, mental health services, family support services, child care provider services, STEM and youth programming, sexual violence support services, women's health exchange, and so much more. And get this, all of our services and programs for the public are free. Yes, we do it all. So again, all of our services can be found at ywcachicago.org. Again, that's ywcachicago.org. I will provide that in the chat. But we also, along with our TDO sector opportunities, uh, we engage with you to help you with your resume, job interview reviews and tips. And then once we get you prepared and ready for your employment opportunity, 
we have employer partners out there, such as CH Robinson, FedEx, UPS, just to name a few, that we would pair you with for the right employment opportunity. Not only will we make sure that you're prepared for that uh, interview and uh, ultimately for the employment opportunity, but we provide those employer referrals. We make sure that your resume is exactly what it should look like before it gets in front of the hiring manager's uh, purview. And once you're hired into a situation, especially in today's uh, work market, you may be what the employer is looking for in terms of your previous experience, uh, the way that you um, uh, carry yourself uh, professionally once you meet with the employer, but there may be some vital skills missing for you to carry out a said job. Well, we're also here, just like the IT, IT sector center mentioned, uh, to help with training and the cost of training. So um, through our wheel of funding that we have with the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, we can make sure that on the job trainings that you may need before you actually start your job or any customized training or any kind of uh, training opportunities that may be available for that employer to take advantage of and to make your employment with that company more attractive, uh, we're here to assist in that way as well. So as you can see, um, we not only prepare you for the opportunity, but we are a partner for the employer to bridge the gap with you and the employer to make sure that you start correctly and that you are successful in your endeavor. Next slide, please. This is just a snapshot of our current jobs that are available. And they range everywhere from $43 an hour um, to $20 an hour to $17, $18 an hour. Um, many employers that we work with like CTA, World Flight Services, Worldwide Flight Services, United Ground Express, whom we're doing a hiring event with on January 13th virtually, which you can um, go and register for it now in the, in the link. We did put the provide the link in the chat. These are just a sample of some of the job opportunities that exist, not just uh, for the great citizens of the 25th Ward, but for anyone looking for opportunities in TDL across Chicagoland. We encourage you uh, and we'd love to help you uh, in your search and quest to find employment. Next slide, please. And we also uh, have a TDL youth program here at the YWC in Metro Chicago. Um, you can see here on the screen, if you're looking for a career that offers growth and opportunity, we're now enrolling 18 to 24 year olds in our transportation and distribution and logistics program. Uh, participants receive 12 weeks of technical and soft skill training including four weeks of paid work experience, earn industry recognized credentials and learn directly from industry experts. And then you can see here in the bullet points, uh, just some of the requirements. You must be between 18 and 24, have a high school diploma or a GD. You have to pass a drug screening um, and background uh, checks are required as well. And so for any uh, information on uh, further information on this particular program, the TDL youth program, uh, please contact B. Siler. I provided her email address there uh, at the bottom, Beatrice.Siler at ywcachicago.org. And once we get into the breakout rooms, if you're interested in anything that I spoke about here during my presentation, we can discuss it there and I can share all this information with you personally. And I look forward to doing so. Next slide, please. So again, um, as I mentioned earlier, the TDL Sector Center looks forward to seeing you all at our next virtual hiring event coming up on Thursday, January 13th, between 1 and 3 p.m. Uh, Pre-registration is in the chat, um, as well as it's provided here. Uh, oh, no, it's not on the slide, but it's in the, it's in the chat. Uh, so please pre-register for that event uh, with the United Ground Express. Uh, in which they are offering a $1,000 sign-on bonus uh, for all those who they do hire. We're looking forward to uh, facilitating that event. Um, and then uh, any of the resources that I mentioned before that, that the YWCA Metro offers, 
uh, please go to our YWCA Metro Chicago resources and programming page at ywcachicago.org. Uh, we look forward to connecting with you. And thanks again, uh, everyone for attending. And I uh, also look forward to speaking with all of you in the breakout session. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Lewis. Uh, thank you for also presenting on the TEL sector. Uh, next, we have uh, Aurelia Bradley for the healthcare sector. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aurelia Bradley. I am the business solutions consultant with uh, uh, the partnership healthcare sector. Next slide, please. Um, to go into more detail regarding the healthcare sector center, um, Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership Healthcare Sector Center operated by Equus Workforce Solutions, offering business workforce services to healthcare employers, <clears throat> excuse me, and employment placement services to individuals. Included in that, we, we also, well, we offer pre-screening and matching qualified applicants with employers' requirements. We have a team of business solution consultants um, that becomes the extension of the HR and recruitment team for our employers. And we, in order to assist the candidates with skills and qualifications to identify potential hires. We advertise and promote job listings and hiring events, assistance with organizing virtual and in-person recruitment, pre-screenings and hiring events. We collaborate and work together with the school uh, by providing employment support and career coaching to healthcare students um, pending on their job search. We also conduct job readiness, resume assistance in a group setting or a one-on-one. -on -one. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Healthcare partners and positions. At the moment, we're working with Advocate Aurora Health, Northwestern Medicine, Rush University Medical Center, Swedish Hospital, um, which is part of North Shore University Health System, Loyola Medicine, all three locations, and Grisville's Plasma. Um, I wanted to list a few of, well, they're listed here, but I wanted to point out a few with Northwestern Medicine that we actually have OJTs um, with right now. Patient care technicians, um, patient access representative, sterile process technicians, medical assistants, and environmental services, which is housekeeping. And we also um, have many more healthcare employers that we work with, like clinics, such as clinics and skilled nursing facilities. Next slide, please. <clears throat> uh, we're also doing customized training with healthcare, I mean, Heartland Health Clinics and a virtual medical training provider. They're uh, looking for candidates for higher for train to hire, where you can become a certified medical assistant. As you train and practice, you will transition into full-time employment with the clinic upon training and certification completion. So let's say someone wants to become a medical assistant. They offer free training. The free training is available uh, and a career in high demand. Up for a career, which is certified medical assistant, which is a career that is in high demand today hands-on training in real medical environment. Interested candidates can register via, by way of this link below, which will also be included in our chat, um, in our chat box. Uh, next slide, please. <clears throat> okay, individual and business employment, employment services. We have vocational training, no cost, um, no cost um, vocational training where you get the tuition voucher for occupational skills training provided directly to an individual job seeker. There's a three tiered tuition fees limit, either 3,000, 5,000, and 8,000. And those figures are based on the type of occupational training selected. We have el eligible training providers, secondary education providers, and other training institutions. 
can be found on Illinois WorkNet as well. We offer on the job training. That's where we meet with an employer and the employer agrees to hire, train and retain the individual upon successful completion. <clears throat> so on a hire first model, the cost reimbursement for the on the job training is 50 to 75% of the new employee wages and the cost of training. We also have paid work experience. That's where it is uh, planned, structured learning experience designed for individuals um, in need. And the goal is to prepare someone for, I'm gonna move this off my slide, okay. So the paid work experience. Um, the goal is to prepare someone for entry level employment and is designed for individuals in need of basic employment skills. <clears throat> next slide, next slide, please. My voice, excuse my voice. So sorry about that. Okay, Northside American Job Center. We have um, job centers throughout Chicagoland, but here the healthcare sector center, we work closely with the Northside American Job Center. So when we're speaking to job seekers and we want them to attend one of our WIOA orientations, we will refer them to the Northside American Job Center. And there, um, to, there they can learn more about employer support and training opportunities at no cost. And we're gonna have uh, in-person orientation coming up on Monday, 1220 from two to 4 p.m. We're also gonna have a virtual web, WebEx webinar on Wednesday, 1222 from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Here's the healthcare sector team. We have Michelle McFarland, who is the operations manager, Maria Romero, who is the lead business solutions consultant, Raquel Murillo, she's the talent engagement specialist. We have Joy Phillips, business solutions consultant, and myself, Aurelia Bradley, I'm also a business solutions consultant. Next slide, please. <clears throat> So if you would like to be matched with an employer's healthcare job opportunity, the next steps would be to complete your screen profile, your pre-screen profile at this link below. This link will be, this link will be um, included in our link in our chat as well. And you can also email your resume to aurelia.bradley at equusworks.com. And in the subject line, enter your position of interest. Next slide, please. Oh, that was it. So thank you everyone for attending and thank you uh, to the 24th board for inviting us here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Bradley. Uh, next up, uh, we are gonna be going into the breakout sessions. Uh, Daniel, if you wanna give any, any more reminders, technical issues or how to utilize the uh, break. Thank you so much, Gabrielle. And as Gabrielle just stated, I'm going to go ahead now and give you all just a brief overview of what to expect regarding the breakout room sessions, some things that you'll need to keep in mind, and then just a few ground rules that we like to lay out uh, ahead of time before we open up those sessions again. So again, this slide should be familiar to you if you did join at the beginning of the session. Again, we just want to reiterate that if you do not have the most recent version of Zoom Client for Meetings downloaded, you go ahead and do so if possible. You can do so at zoom.us slash download. I would say at this point of the webinar, if you have not yet done so, uh, that can be a, um, a troubleshooting measure, if you will. If you're finding that you're not able to open up the breakout rooms feature, you're not able to join a room or move freely from room to room, this may be uh, one of the issues that you're facing. You're just running probably an outdated uh, version of this add-on. So again, uh, if, you're, if you're encountering issues like that during the session, please uh, be sure that you have this add-on downloaded. You may have to leave the session in order to do so. If you do, that's fine. I'll be monitoring the waiting room in our main session here while the sessions are going on. So uh, I will be sure to let you back into the session if you do have to leave to download. Um, again, Zoom client for meetings. Moving on here, you'll see a slide with a few screen shots that I did take here for basic instructional purposes. So 
One thing to note first off is that I did take these screenshots off of my laptop. So if you're joining by laptop or desktop, this should be similar to what you're gonna see here shortly. If you're already looking for this icon in the toolbar uh, and you're not seeing it, no worries. You will not see that icon until I actually go ahead and open up those rooms. When I do open up those rooms, you'll see there, if you move your cursor, it should bring up a toolbar, a hidden toolbar, if you will, that Zoom has. And you'll see off to the right-hand side, the breakout rooms icon. What you'll then do is click that icon. What will come up is the second screenshot you, there, you see there, which is just a window uh, that'll have a complete listing of all the sector centers that you are available to meet with. Again, off to the right-hand side, you'll see a join uh, option there. You'll see in this um, screenshot here, there's that red circle around it. You'll click join for whatever room it is that you'd like to enter first. Now, since we do have three sector centers on the line here today, we do encourage you to meet with all the folks. Again, these individuals that presented here obviously are wealth and abundance of information and you never know, uh, you know, there could be an opportunity waiting for you in a sector that uh, perhaps you thought wasn't maybe the right fit for you. So we do encourage you to meet with all of those folks here today. One other final thing that I'd like to note on joining a breakout room, if you're joining by a mobile device, so let's say a tablet, cell phone, something similar, you may not see that breakout rooms icon in your main toolbar. You may have to click off. You'll see on the screen here to the right-hand side that more tab or option. If you click that, there should be a window or a drop down menu, if you will, that'll open up. And about halfway down that list, you'll see breakout rooms. You'll click on that. The same window will open that you see there in the second screenshot. You'll click join and you'll follow the same process. And it's important to note for both of these methods of joining a breakout room, to be able to move from room to room, you'll just rinse and repeat that same process. So you'll click the breakout rooms icon, it'll open up that window, you'll join. Uh, again, the next room that you want to uh, meet with a uh, presenter with, and then you'll just repeat that process again as you see fit. And I will have this screen back up on the screen here in the main room for you to refer to once we open up those sessions. Again, here, just a quick overview. Uh, we will have obviously a the, each of our presenters here today in their designated breakout room for their respective sector centers. Again, uh, we should have a member of the planning team in that room for basic troubleshooting purposes. Uh, we will have a 30 minute session taking place today. And again, as I've already highlighted, you'll be able to move freely throughout all of those rooms and unmute yourself. Once you've entered a room, you'll also be able to turn on your camera as well. And last but not least, just a few ground rules here. Again, please be mindful of our presenter's time. Once you've asked your question, you received your response. Please be sure to mute yourself to allow you know, your fellow job seekers the same opportunity. We do encourage you to share your camera, but please keep things respectful, professional, be mindful as well. Uh, you know that folks are gonna be able to see what's going on in the background. And again, we do encourage you to mute yourself uh, once you asked your question, just to be sure that we don't get any sort of audio disruption when other people are asking questions or our presenters are answering them. Second rule there, you'll see, uh, if you opt to be disruptive or inconsiderate to your fellow job seekers, you'll receive one verbal warning by our partner staff. If you do disregard that warning, you will be permanently placed on mute. If you are muted, you'll still be able to stay in the session and ask questions using the chat feature, but just please note that you'll no longer kind of have that priority status, if you will. Our presenters will respond as time permits for the folks that have not been, uh, again, permanently placed on mute. Again, if you use the chat feature to cause further disruption, we will have partner staff that'll have the ability to eject you from the session if need be. Again, the way Zoom works is if this does happen, unfortunately, you will not be permitted re-entry. So with that, uh, those are just, again, a few other ground rules and things to keep in mind before we open up the session here. Again, we do have three sector centers on the line today, the IT sector center, the TDL sector center, and the healthcare sector center. Again, we'll have a 30 minute session taking place. There will be a timer in the upper right-hand corner that'll let you know how much time is left in the session. I do have a 60 second countdown timer set for this as well. So what that means is once that 30th minute has elapsed, 
uh, a window will come up letting you know that there is approximately one minute left in the session. And if you're in the middle of asking a question or having a conversation with the presenters that we do have here today, that, that will kind of be your cue to uh, begin wrapping things up. Once that 60 seconds has elapsed, we'll come back into our main session here. And we'll have just a few closing remarks before we round out today's session. Thank you, everybody. And again, we'll see you in 30 minutes for our concluding remarks. And our rooms are open now and available for you to meet with our presenters. Again, if you're having any issues joining a room, you can also message me in the chat and let me know which sector center you'd like to meet with. I can send you there manually if need be. Thank you so much.
Okay, well, welcome back, everybody. It does look like we do have a majority of the folks back in from our breakout room session. So just a few things that I'd like to note here before I turn things back over to Gabriel to close out officially. Um, again, if you have not yet registered for the upcoming session on Thursday with our employers, please be sure to do so either today or tomorrow. That would be fantastic. Again, just because you've registered for this initial uh, job seeker workshop event, if you will, does not necessarily mean that you are registered for the employer panel and breakout room session. So again, I'm going to throw a link here in the chat for the registration for that event where you'll actually be able to meet with the employers that we have on the line. Now, real quickly here, I'm going to list who we're going to have. We have Synergy on the line, University of Illinois at Chicago, Metra, Northwestern University Medical Center, Chicago Lighthouse, Horizon, Rush University Medical Center, and UPS. So that is going to be our employer lineup. Again, please be sure to register for Thursday's session where you'll be able to meet with those folks and hopefully land your next job and or career. One final thing that I'd like to note here as well is that uh, we have recorded this session here today. We will be uploading it to the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel under the virtual job fairs playlist within 48 hours of the conclusion of this event. So as you can imagine, what that means is you'll be able to go back through this video. You'll be able to view the presentations that we did have, extract any of that information that you need to be able to follow up with any of these respective sector centers uh, for additional services and programs that are available. And with that, I'd like to turn things back over to Gabriel to close things out. Gabriel. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you everyone for uh, the hard work of setting this up today, but especially to those that attended today. I know it's important uh, time in our lives when we're searching you know, for a new career path or to start up again. As a career path navigator, I'm proud to be part of this as well and as a representative at the American Job Center. I know the American Job Center uh, name or the AJC was uh, mentioned a lot by our presenters today. Uh, keep in mind the American Job Center is set up here for you to assist you with the job search. In many ways, we're one-stop shops. We're five in the city of Chicago and five in the surrounding suburbs for a total of 10 in your immediate area. Again, thank you for the 25th Ward. They are overseeing many parts of the 25th Ward, but in centered in the Pilsen neighborhood, we do have our American Job Center right off the Pink Line stop on 18th Street. Uh, again, thank you so much for coming in. We look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Remember the registration is on the chat. Uh, and, uh, you know, do, you know, keep bright and this holiday season. I know that we are in challenging times in the pandemic, but you know, keep positive. We are opening up little by little and uh, we definitely have uh, you know, opportunities out there for everyone. Thanks again for attending today. And we look forward to seeing you on Thursday.